States. Okay, folks, I want to tell you something that you're not going to believe. This is one of the most happiest days of the year for all of you technicians that like Fibonacci, because today is Fibonacci Day. Mr. Fibonacci, Leonardo da Pisa, the Fibonacci, he lived in uh, Pisa, Italy, and his family name was, of course, uh, Fibonacci, and uh, has nothing to do with the Leaning Tower of Pisa that was done 100 years before him. Uh, it's still there, but it's held up by cables because of the earthquakes that they've had over the years. But uh, today is, in fact, uh, Fibonacci Day. The other thing that I wanted to remember to you, we, someone was kind enough to forward the statistics since 1972 on the market, whether it's going to be up or down the day after Thanksgiving. And as you can see here, as we look at this, you'll see that the percentage is it's up about a half a percent and it's up a considerably uh, percentage wise it's up quite a bit it's the most positive day uh, of the year now we had the fed coming out today from what i understand that's what's going on right now uh in all the markets are jumping around quite a bit we've had a, a big move in the dow jones uh, it's dropped off about uh, 250 from its high the s p dropped about 30 handles from its high we got up to that uh almost the old magical level of uh, 40 uh, 65 we got up to 40 35 and then it uh has sold off a considerable amount, actually. Uh, we're down as, from what I heard just a little while ago, was 408. Uh, 4008 is where we're looking at. So we're having some pretty, you know, great volatility uh, in some of these markets. And folks, the reason why is it's pretty thin out there. Uh, TFNN is closed tomorrow. Many places are closed. Uh, in fact, I had to spend some time with Jim Twentyman today working on an order. And he says, what the heck are you doing working? And I said, well, it's not the same as when we were at Drexel. Because when we were at Drexel, we didn't work Thanksgiving week. And then from the 15th of December until the 4th of January, nobody worked. I mean, the only thing you were there for was to you know, clean up business because you, you weren't expected to make anything near your quota. If you hadn't made it by the 4th of December, uh, you were probably in uh, pretty big, pretty big trouble. So that's what we're watching here today. Uh, so we'll see everybody on Monday, of course. But uh, my show is coming up. And next week, we've got some great guests. We're going to have Stan Harley, Tim Bost, and uh, also Peter Elides uh, should be coming along, as well as Rich Anderson talking to us about the grains. Okay, we'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. 